Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to toggle a class in JavaScript. So right here, you see I have uh, two classes here. And inside of the body tag, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to have a script tag, all right? So script, just like that. So this is the script tag, all right? So this is the opening and the ending tag. So I'll place it at the very end of the body tag. So this is the end of the body tag, and I'm gonna place it here. Um, but right now, I'll need to, you know, add some tags here to add the to add it to the display. So what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna say, uh, for example, age one. All right, and I'm gonna add a class name here. So I'm gonna add the class red here, right? And I'm gonna say hello world all right so hello world and now i'm gonna add a button underneath it all right so add a button and i'm gonna say uh change class or toggle i should change it to toggle so toggle class all right so now we have two tags so we have the age one which is just this text and it has the red um you know class right here and this is the button so if i click on it nothing happens uh, because we don't have javascript so we'll need to add some uh you know javascript here to get that element and when we click on this button it should change the class so now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna say for example variable get all right so variable get equals to i'm gonna say for example uh, document dot get uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna use the query selector so query selector all right so query selector is handy when you use uh, when you select classes and stuff like that so query selector then two quotations so we are going to say dot red so we have selected that all right so now we have that here so we have selected that specific paragraph or the age one i'm sorry so we have selected the age one here and we have assigned it to this variable inside of this variable get all right so now underneath it what i'm going to do actually i'm going to right here i'm going to create a function so i'll need a function here so i'm going to say function all right so function change all right two parentheses and two curly braces and I'm gonna wrap everything up here. All right, so I have a function here. I named it change, all right? And you see right here, basically, I have selected the document.querySelector and I added the class name. So I have added that uh, class here and I stored it inside of this variable, which is get. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to say get dot class list all right then we are going to say dot again toggle so toggle all right so dot toggle all right and then open two parentheses and then two quotations then we are going to add the name of the other style so i have this uh, element it says dot blue you see what i'll have it here so i simply type in blue which is the name of this selector all right so i called it uh, class blue and whenever i click on this button i want to trigger this function or use this function so now our function will not work because we have not called it yet so we'll need to call it in order to make it work and uh, to call it what i'm going to do is that i'm going to attach it to a specific uh, element so you see right here i have this button here and when i click on it I just want to change or toggle the class. So right here, what I can do is, you know, I can say on click, all right? So whenever somebody clicks on it, I want to run this function. So it's called change. So I'll just add the word change here and two parentheses. So you see, I have it here. And now if I click on toggle class, it has changed it to blue. And if I click on it again, it changes it to red. 
So now you see when I click on it, it simply toggles it. All right. So this is the old way that, you know, people do it with change and they add on click here. So this is obsolete nowadays. So a lot of people, they just add the element here and, and instead of, you know, adding the on click here, um, they select the element. So for example, they type in document. So it can say document, then dot query selector. All right, so query selector, all right, and two parentheses, then two quotations. And I'm gonna simply type in bottom because I have one bottom, all right? And now I'll need to actually save this. So I, I can save this in a variable, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'll just add another dot here and I'm gonna say add event listener and then two parentheses. So I'm going to say click, all right? So whenever somebody clicks on it, then I'm going to say a comma here and I'm going to add the name of the function, which is change, all right? So now it's the same thing, all right? But this is more professional way, all right? So this is more professional. So if you know how to use the add event listener, um, you know, you'll be more professional. So now if I click on it, you see it does the same thing. And uh, right here, let me explain the add event listener to you. So you see the first thing that we did here is we said document dot query selector button. So now we have simply selected the button and uh, you know, I have one button. So I just typed in the word button, but if I had two or two of them, I could have added a class name here, for example, class, I could have called it, um, btn all right so button and right here i could have changed it to dot btn all right so this is the same thing so all right so we have selected that specific uh button and we simply attached the event listener so the event listener it just listens to the event so right here you see it says i just type in collect so whenever I click on it, I said run a function named change. And you see change is our function. All right, everybody. So I think this is it for this video. And now you see we are toggling between um, this class and this class. And uh, you know, you can change things. For example, font size, you can add things. So font size, for example, 30 pixels. All right, and font dash size, for example, 60 pixels so you see how we toggle between the two classes here all right so it's not just the color but you change you know the class all right from red to blue all right so i hope this video was helpful uh just you know practice and uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below so thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you all in the next video